What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23 Game 1 against Chicago White Sox. And we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. Interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Chicago White Sox. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Coming up on the first pitch and pitching in this game, Robbie Erlin. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Right side. Yeah. He steps on the bag. Out. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The designated Here's hitter. Josh Rojas. Josh Rojas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, sometimes as a left-handed hitter, you know you're going to see at least one or two breaking balls in the at-bat, so why not go up there ready to hit that first one? Just couldn't barrel that one up. One down, base is empty. Shit. In the dirt, throw to first, out on the drop, out. third strike, two gone. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Two outs. Ripped there we the go. Nice catch. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's O'Neill Cruz entering this one second in the National League in hitting. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Ah. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Picks himself up in RBI. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. He's going. Run around the goal. And first offering is fouled off. Check on the runner, Cruz, back easily. Runner, 
Runner on the go again. And that one fouled off. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Runner goes again. This one in the dirt. Ooh. And that is the third out of the inning. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here on the south side and on the hill in this one, Jared Eikhoff. Singing, he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch. Well, when you have a guy that can limit the opponent to very little run production, you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes them out. He's just having an outstanding season so far. You hope he can maintain it because if he can, Leave he'll be in a nice conversation at the end of the year. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Got him. Yeah, and one out now. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. There's a strike. The Red Sox made Andrew Benintendi the seventh overall pick in 2015. And remember, he won the Golden Spikes Award for the top college player that year at the University of Arkansas. He had two guys in his conference that were drafted ahead of him. Alex Bregman, who went second overall from LSU. Dansby Swanson, who went first overall out of Vanderbilt. Right-hander kicks deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And, and he almost won one more award in 2017 when he finished runner-up to Aaron Judge for Rookie of the Year. The next season, he won the World Series with the Red Sox. One. Next one misses, and it's 1-2. and two. Next two offering low. is down low, 2-2. Two and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Cruz hauls it in for the out. That's out number two. Batting third, the designated hitter. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Big time power. He's third in the AL in home runs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's yeah. a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. And one and two. He got away with oh. one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. The one-two. Swing and a ball popped up. Bay makes uh, the catch, and hustle. that'll do it. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And it remains 1-0. Second inning set to go. Now, G1 Bay. G1 Bay. The wind of the pitch. Fly ball down the right field line. Nice, baby. It's gone, and that is gone. Way to go, Bay. And a ball coming. Home run number five on the season, and they boost their lead. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. And yeah, the batter now, number 92. Hammer, base hit. Now, there we go. Batting eight, the catcher, Henry. So, man aboard. Now at the plate, Henry Davis.
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Runner on the goal. Pitch in the dirt. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Very nice. Runner leads away at second. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And he deals. He caught it behind his back. And they get the out. What a catch. Batting done. The right field. Jack Sawinski. Wow. Good play, yeah, man. It's the power-speed combo. Jack Sawinski. He was two for four in Wednesday's game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Here's a one-one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here's a one-two. Runner takes off. Foul ball still a one and two count. And it's second. Runner goes again. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One out and a runner at second. Runner on the move again. Pitch oh. outside. Yeah. And safe. It's a stolen yeah. base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Two and two. Cuts on it and misses. Oh. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now batting now Key batting. Brian Hayes. Grounded out his Key first Brian time up. Hayes. Back to the mound. Yeah. Throws to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League. Bottom half of inning number two. Luis Robert now. The center fielder. back to work. And there's the strike. First good strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Next offering is in for a strike. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on oh, when you're expecting it to become more consistent. The one two. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Davis calls it in and there's one away that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate had pretty good timing on oh, it fielder. just got underneath it a little yeah, bit and man. popped it up now it's the right fielder Gavin Sheets eighth best batting average in the American League now fly ball to right center Nice grab, McCutcheon. Nice grab, bitch. Able to make that play. <laughs> Two down. The first baseman, Andrew. Two outs, space is empty. Oh. Andrew Vaughn now. He's looking to hit the ball the other way in 99% of his at bats. But if you make a mistake middle in, he can touch you up for a four bagger. Ah. In there for strike one.
Out towards right center field. Drops into the glove. Oh. And that is that. Shy Sox held in check here. They trail things here 2 0. Here on the south side, new inning line. getting started. And now the DH, it. Josh Rojas. Rojas. Rojas goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, Go scoring ball. eight Ooh, runs over the last 10 games. I think he was sitting off speed there. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Hard hit. No. Field base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Come on, Here's Pat. Andrew McCutcheon to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. Runner on the goal. In the air, out towards right center. Robert moves under it. Puts it away for the out. Now that And stepping in is the speedy O'Neill Cruz. Cruz, 25 years old. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Runner on the go. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Save. Rojas over at second. One down. Ripped on a line to serve. Robert brings it in with a nice running grab. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Now batting. And now the, the first, first baseman, baseman Garrett, Garrett Cooper. He's all for one. Swings through that one. No one. one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. No this one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. And the runner holds. Two outs with a runner at third. Ah. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. In comes the run from third, and they're up by three. Oh, the throw is wild. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against the firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So digging in, G1 Bay. Lace down the line. Hey. Could be extra bases. Throw and it gets away. And in to score the runner from second. Just a careless job of getting it in from the outfield there. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. It really turned on that one. And as it hooked down the line, it was hard to tell if it would stay fair. But he just barely sneaked in there. And in scoring position with two away. Here's a speed threat, number 92. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Fastball right back to the mound. And that's the third out. out. Two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Well, no surprise with this decision to delay the game. The rain is here, and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. And we're going to have to sit tight, Chris. Yeah, Poog, I don't see a break in the storm coming anytime Leading soon, and I've got my 499 weather basement. app, which is pretty oh, trusty, and the radar oh, says man. it's going to stay this way for at least another hour. So if that's the case, get ready for some new pitchers to take no, the mound when we get back. Colin Moran, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Foul ball there. Left-hand hitter waits. 
And that's no, outside. Two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have yeah, to swing it. Grab, Selinski yeah. makes the catch. One away. The catcher. And next to hit for the Sox, Sebi Zavala. And that's in there for strike one. Liner to second and picked on the hop. The throw no. and two straight Out. set down to begin the bottom of the third. Batting none. The second baseman. And now it's Jonathan no, no, Scope. Go. School, a former all-star getting ninth in today's lineup and he's a native of Curacao ripped on a line can't get there base hit makes the turn and heads for second and he'll pull in there with a stand-up double that's a good sound coming off the bat man and as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Jorge Mateo now. First ball. pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Ripped to third, but oh. hit it, and that'll end the inning. So a man left for the White Sox. They trail it here, four nothing. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field as we go to the top of the fourth, and here is Henry Davis. And the pitch. Gets him to chase after oh, yeah. that one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. That Ooh. smash towards center. Puts it away for the out. Up next for the Pirates, yeah, Jack Sawinski. Right Jack Sawinski. First offering misses the mark. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Jimmy Lambert appears to be getting loose. Swing and a miss. One and the count even one and one. Swings through that. One guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Next pitch is outside. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Got him swinging. Had him out Again. front for strike three. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move. Jimmy Lambert takes over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here's the third baseman, Keith Ryan Hayes. On the ground, out to short. In time to ball. That's the third out. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. They lead 4-0. And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Ben Intendi to the plate. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. On the ground, right side. Bay. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Aloy Jimenez now. Over one with a fly out. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Ball. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, ah, but not too yeah. far. Don't want to chase ah. that breaking ball in the dirt. Caught him looking for the K. So he gets the call <laughs> and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. And now it's Luis Robert. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's inside. That's inside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. This one in the air center field. McCutcheon has it sized up. Makes the grab, well, and that's the end. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They're down 4 0. <laughs> All set for the start of the inning. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Josh Rojas. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Pirates putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. He's got it, and there's one down. Up next for Pittsburgh, the center fielder. Andrew and now it's Andrew McCutcheon, McCutcheon, one for two. Swing and a miss, no and that's strike one. one. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early yeah. count. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with Whoa. out there on the mound. Good eye right there. Popped up. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Now it's the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. O'Neill Cruz. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. Bucks go down quietly, but they're in front for nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Eikhoff, back to work. Now one miss. You know, these White Sox just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. And a pitch. So now one and two. Out to center. McCutcheon makes the grab nice. one away. The first baseman, number 25, Andrew. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate Vaughn. for the White Sox. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. Yeehaw. 
Line drive, base hit down the line. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. Right. Two away. Now that. Look at Sebi Zavala, the next to hit. Grounded out his first time. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, and it stays fair. And it kicks off the base of the wall. He's in safely at second, and a run comes in to score. Well, that gets him a little closer. in this one ripped that one down the line and kept it fair and even when you hit it that far out front you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul well got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning Sox get one on the RBI double it's now 4-1 all right we go to the top half of inning number six and here's the first baseman Garrett Cooper Lambert back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Cooper in his seventh season, 33 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Next offering misses, and the count is 1-2. and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. The other way, and it goes Ooh. just foul. Swing and a miss, struck yeah. him out. He swung over top of the curveball. I got to think that was the plan all the way. The he set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Bay up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. Fought off foul. Here's a two two. Liner and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Bro cut off to third. The tag out. At the plate for Pittsburgh, number 92. Uh, and first offering is fouled off. Riding to the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. Robert on the move. Grabs it on the run. And that ends the inning. One hit. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Dwayne Underwood Jr. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Pitch. 
Mateo, oh, no, the next no. to hit, takes ball one. one Looks ball. like he was trying no to get strike. to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch. But it backed up a little ball. bit on him oh, and stayed ooh. inside. That one oh. close, ruled a ball. Oh, come and on, now bro. And so definitely a little wild right out of the game. Yeah. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Oh, Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Benintendi huh. stands in now and watches strike one. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. They say he oh, won. Yeah. Going to count oh. one and two. Got him. Wow. And one gone. Here's the White Sox DH, Aloy Jimenez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball, that no. misses, and that's ball one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Next pitch ball, inside, and a count two and one. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Down the line towards the corner. And that one hops the wall. Mateo rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've oh. got to make them pay. That has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Oh. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Yeah, there's a strike. The 2 2. On a line. Nice grab. Nice on the run. grab. And there are two outs. Gavin Sheet. Steps to the plate for the White Sox. Pirates with a new arm on the mound. Chase DeYoung. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center, and we'll take a break. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 4-2. You're watching. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the catcher, Henry Davis. The right-hander back to work. Foul ball. You'll one. And he bunts, but that's foul. Strike two. And a pitch. Good eye oh. right there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Matt Foster getting ready to go. The pitch. Mateo. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. And now here is Jack Sawinski. Come on, Jack. Jack Sawinski. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Strike two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh. 
Foul ball still 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Yep. Two out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Hit hard on the ground to short. Mateo, jump throw. And he beats wow. the throw. He's safe. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it he's close. Gone, gone. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And a base hit. And he boots it. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells runners on the move. Pitch misses. Nice. Third, too late. Save, double steal. And the right hander deals. Swings through that one out in front that time. Kind of goes without saying, but straight on these two runners in scoring position right here, it feels like it's a must if they stand a chance to win this game. Ripped on the ground a second. Scope throws to first in time. That's out number three. Pirates strand a couple as they can't add to their 4 2 lead. And here it comes. Ball in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next one is off the plate. And one and one. Kicks and fires. On the ground right side. Over to Cooper. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So up next for Chicago, Colin Moran. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The pitch. Good eye on that spot. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Zavala in the box now. Take strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, oh, now. Moran stands at first with one out. Next pitch is inside. One and two to count. Just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Nice. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like no that thing Number does. Seven. Huge movement. It's thing. so difficult to get Not on the same there. plane and even think about squaring no. it up. Let alone oh. get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Sko in the box again. Takes a strike. Down the line. Shit. It's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did. You trusted your hands, you no. let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tight run and start us over here in the late innings. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. 
definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and oh. rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Next one no. just misses. And it's 2-2. Two two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next offering way off the plate. Andrew Benintendi. Up next Benintendi, for the White Sox. 3-2 on the way. Out towards left center. McCutcheon has it sized up. They grab Brings it in for the third out. White Sox strand a couple. They trail it here. 4-2. to two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Zach Britton on for his 20th appearance of the year. So here's the cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Britton, multi-time all-star. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. Next pitch misses way outside. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Hacks and misses. Yeah. It's a strikeout. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Swings and misses, and a count one and one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Hard hit left side. Zips it across. Out. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Here's the second the baseman, G1 Bay. He's already homered in this game. Hard hit right side. In time to ball. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Here on the south side, Benatendi up here. And the pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Righty delivers. Swings through wow. it, and that's a strikeout. That was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Really late with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. And fouled off. Ball to strike. The pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. McCutcheon has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And there's two down. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Tap back to the mound. In plenty of time to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox going with a new arm. Matt Foster. He's pitching on two days rest. At the plate for Pittsburgh, number 92. One for three. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Foster, in his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. And a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And here is Henry Davis. Yeah. 
safe at second and that was not close runner at second nobody out the next offering misses and now it's even one and one meanwhile activity in the bullpen Aaron Bummer the left-hander up and throwing kicks and deals swing and a miss as he was out front and now it's even up and that one ripped into right sheets makes the grab and there's one down Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Cut on and miss. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and turn that runner at third now. Small gun, mounted. Sheets. Going back. Back some oh. more. Caught just shy of the wall. Bro. So one hit is all they get. Five, six, and right. seven will leave things off in the Good bottom right. of the ninth. Back here on the yeah. south side, last chance for the home team. Now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Edge of the zone, called a strike, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Ground ball scooped up Key Brian Hayes. Oops, he came what home the fuck with it. Are you doing, and he gets bro? the first safely as a result. Shit, so I think I'll just sit here quietly in disbelief. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. That one's in there 0-1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The next pitch oh. misses. Now one and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next oh, one misses. Oh, and that's ball on, two. Man. Outside. Yeah. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, dude. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. There's nothing cheap about You're done. The way he got that one through the infield, that was ripped. Cut out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. David Bednar comes on trying to close it out. He last pitched two days ago. And the first That's pitch the misses for ball one. one oh. In the air out to center. McCutcheon has it sized up. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second. Safe. He beats it. Two on, one out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sevi Zavala. First offering misses badly for ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Any rip to third. Nah. 
Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. And that's in for a strike. Come on, two more. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. Next pitch no, just misses. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. On the ground right side. Steps on the bag ah. himself, ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, it looked like they were playing a home game. Yeah, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening, and we will catch you for game number two with the Sox.